Hello, my name is Becky and I'm a qualified skin therapist and Dermalogica expert. Today we're going to discuss inflamed breakouts and review some key regimen steps to help you achieve your healthier skin. But before we dive into discussing how to treat inflamed breakouts, we must first understand how they are formed and what triggers them to appear on our skin in the first place. There are five key physiological factors involved in the formation of breakouts. These are overactive sebaceous glands, skin cell accumulation, microbiome and bacteria, inflammation and pigmentation and scarring. So let's look at these in more detail, starting with overactive sebaceous glands. These are the glands that produce an oily substance called sebum. It's what gives you the shine. However, in adults, even if you're not oily, due to hormonal influence, the sebum or oil is made thicker and stickier than normal. This contributes to clogging in our pores. We then have cell accumulation to contend with. Our skin produces millions of skin cells a day, a process called disquamation. However, in breakout prone skins, the dead skin cells are not released as they normally would be, and they mix with the sticky sebum congesting the pores, quite literally causing a plug. Now in our pores lives our microbiome and bacteria. Scientists are still trying to understand more about the skin's microbiome, which is an ecosystem of microorganisms, but we do know that one of its residents, the bacteria Cutibacterium acnes or C. acnes, cause breakouts. When this bad bacteria becomes trapped in an anaerobic environment, for example, a clogged pore, they feed on sebum and generate waste products. This irritates the pore, which then may trigger inflammation. Inflamed lesions are red, swollen, and sometimes pus-filled breakouts. The swelling of the pore is like blowing up a balloon until it pops, which can lead to leakage and inflammation into surrounding tissues. When this stage is reached, there is a wound healing response in the skin, which helps to heal the lesion. But this wound healing response can result in pigmentation and scarring. And that's because our skin color or melanin is produced as part of that wound healing response. So often, once the infection has cleared, you're left with a post breakout mark. When it comes to clearing inflamed breakouts on the skin, my professional top tip would be to target inflammation first. This will lower the risk of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation being present for a long time post breakout. Once any inflammation has subsided, you can then go in with more active formulas to target cell accumulation, our skin's microbiome, and control overactive sebaceous glands. We can do all of this in three easy steps, prep, treat, and glow. Let's have a look how. Prep is the starting point for clear, healthy skin. My professional recommendation is to start your double cleanse by using pre-cleanse oil. You may usually shy away from using an oil-based formula in the past, but interestingly, oil attracts oil. In addition, it can also dissolve any surface debris on the skin, such as pollution, SPF, dirt, and even long wear and waterproof makeup. Simply apply one to two pumps onto the skin and work in circular motions. Pre-cleanse oil is a water-soluble formula, so by adding water, you will see it turn into a milky consistency, which makes it easily removed from the skin without leaving an oily residue. You would then choose your second cleanse option based on what your skin needs. My personal favourite is our Active Clay Cleanser, as it contains clay and charcoal, which will deep cleanse the pores. It is powered by prebiotic technology, which will balance the skin's microbiome, eradicating the bad bacteria whilst feeding the good bacteria in the skin. Simply dispense a blueberry-sized amount and work into damp skin, then remove with tepid water. Next, use daily exfoliation to regulate cell turnover and promote healthy skin. My professional recommendation is daily microfolium. This gentle formula uses salicylic acid and enzymes to clear underlying congestion, whilst also having anti-inflammatory benefits without causing too much friction and aggravating the skin. Now our skin is prepped and ready to receive breakout clearing actives. This brings us to our next step, treat. First, spritz the skin with multi-active toner. 
This will give your skin a hydrating boost, which will help to balance out overactive sebaceous activity. Then apply Age Bright Clearing Serum, first to areas of breakout activity, then over the rest of the skin. This active two-in-one serum will target breakout causing bacteria whilst fading any post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation marks left on the skin, therefore reducing the appearance of premature skin ageing. This can be used in the morning and evening. If experiencing breakouts and concerned with signs of ageing, you could alternate your serum application and apply retinal clearing oil in the evening instead. This innovative formula combines retinol and salicylic acid for the first time ever without skin irritation. Our final step is glow. In most breakout prone skins, people avoid using a moisturiser or SPF through fear of making their condition worse. But in reality, breakout prone skins need hydration and protection too. The simplest way to achieve both steps is to use our oil-free matte SPF 30. This lightweight formula will prevent shine and skin aging on oily breakout prone skin. In the evening, you could opt for a lightweight formula which does not contain SPF like Active Moist. So that's it. Three simple steps to help you say bye-bye to breakouts. If you would like to learn more about your skin, you can book onto our free skin formation workshops or connect with a qualified skin therapist who can provide you with a personalised treatment plan. More details on these services can be found on our website.